Hey everyone, how are you today? Hey, I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I, for Super Bowl, I am making seven layer bean dip. Um, the question is, do you like it hot or cold? So in our family, it's about half and half. Um, my kids were raised with it being hot, so all my kids eat it hot. But some of the other kids don't, and some of the other grandkids don't. So it's kind of fun. What do you do? And how does your seven layer bean dip look? Mine, I start out with two cans of the refried beans. Let's see, I'm not sure you can even see that. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. Pull this frontwards so you can see. There we go. So I'm gonna put my two cans of refried beans. And something that I've done in the past, and if it was just for me and my husband, you know, just for Papa, I would just, I put black beans and I do both. I do have the black beans and the refried beans in there and it's really yummy but just because this is what everybody's used to this is the way I'm gonna do it so we've got our first layer there we've got our okay the second layer is I'm gonna take my mayonnaise and it's about a cup of mayonnaise We're going to spread that around. And I'm hoping with my food dehydrator that I'm not going to have to buy taco seasoning mix anymore and make my own. So I am looking for a good recipe for that so that I can do that. So there is my, my mayonnaise. And I don't use the other. I, I like mayonnaise. So, and I also like the fresh avocado. I did buy this avocado mix that's already done, but I've also got two of mine. So I'm gonna take that bowl that I have the mayonnaise in, and I'm gonna dig out there's a half. There's another half that makes one, because the more avocado, the better. And there's another half. And there's the other half. So let's get my little knife. I'm gonna kind of mash it down a little bit. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Just regular lemon juice. Because we don't want any of my avocados to go brown. No one likes eating a brown avocado. Make it a fork out. That could be better. Light brown avocado either. So once I get this mashed down and it's got my lemon juice in it and a little bit of the goodness of the mayonnaise, I'm going to go ahead and add this whole thing of avocado to it. Okay. So I'm going to add that to this, mix it, give it a really good stir, and I'm going to go ahead and have that, oh, look how yummy, already, that goodness is just, I know there's several ways to do seven layer bean dip, sometimes they turn into five layer bean dip or eight or nine layer bean dip. But this is just the way that my kids have always had it. And I've made it for 40 plus years. They've just loved it. So then I'm gonna take some sour cream and it's not a full carton. It's, I've used some out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my taco seasoning mix. And this one is just the big taco seasoning mix. But like I said, I'm hoping to make my own so that I can have my own seasonings. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in about a fourth of a cup. That's probably about what's in a packet. You know a package when you buy a package of taco seasoning nuts. So we're gonna mix it up till it's that, that color, so it's gonna give it that taste of a taco. So there's our next layer. Get all of it out of there. 
spread that on there. I like to cover my avocado so that it's, it's not going to hit the air. So it doesn't have any chances of turning brown because we're not going to use this till tomorrow. But tomorrow's a busy day and I know I won't have time to do it. Okay, so there's that. Sometimes I like to take a clean towel, just kind of go around and make sure it's all nice and clean it up around the edges. I sometimes don't love that look of having that. Okay, so the next layer is gonna be my green onions. And I've just taken, and I've gone up to a little bit into the green, and we're gonna have some, some onions on there. And that's probably about a fourth of a cup. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. And then olives. So sometimes you can use the chopped up olives, but I'm gonna use, these ones are just sliced. So I'm gonna put that on next. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to grate my cheese. Okay, so this is two cans of olives. And it's just this size can of olives. So there's our next layer. I'll kind of smash it in there a little bit. Okay, and so then what I would normally do is put my cheese on, but I have not shredded my cheese yet. So I'm gonna shred up my cheese and then put the tomatoes on it, but it's not gonna matter if the tomatoes are on first or last. last. It's just getting all those layers on that you want. Like I say, we like to put it in the oven and warm it up. But for tomorrow, I think we'll go ahead and just put it out like this. And the ones that want it warm can put it in the microwave and nuke it and get it warm. So the last thing I'll do is put, oh, and this was two tomatoes chopped up finely on there. And then the last thing I'll do is probably put a good cup of cheese on top. And then I'm gonna put some foil on it and put it in the fridge and it'll be good for tomorrow with any kind of chip that you love. I mean, you could probably even use Doritos if you want, normal chips, you can use, um, you know, whatever you want. Um, roll it up in a tortilla would be really good. Anyways, let me know, do you like a hot or cold? Hey, have a great day, you guys. We'll see ya, bye-bye.